Hello again, boys and girls. It's me, Mr. C. And I'm here today to read to you from another one of my favorite books. It's called... Minnie and Moo and the Haunted Sweater by Dennis Kazette. Is everybody ready? Alrighty then. Here we go. Chapter 1. Fall is in the air. Minnie and Moo sat under the old oak tree on the hill. Moo put down her knitting. Ah, she said. Smell that? Fall is in the air. Minnie opened up a pink box. Ah, she said. Smell that? Cream puffs are in the wind. Moo looked at Minnie. What? said Minnie. You said you were on a diet, said Moo. I am, said Minnie. I have 12 cream puffs, but because I'm on a diet, I am only going to eat 11. Moo looked at the farmhouse. Today is the farmer's birthday, she said. You could give the farmer your last cream puff as a present. What a good idea, said Minnie. I'll surprise him. I'll hide it under his pillow. Chapter 2 The Crash Minnie and Moo walked down the hill toward the farmer's house. I wish I had something for the farmer, said Moo. You'll think of something, said Minnie. You always do. A flock of sheep ran past. Hey, said Minnie. You better watch where... Out of the way, someone shouted. Some chickens ran by carrying Elvis. Move it or milk it, yelled Elvis. Just as the chickens crossed the road, the sheep ran in front of them. Look out, cried Elvis. Look out, cried the sheep. They crashed into one another. Oh, moaned the sheep. Oh, moaned the chickens. Where is Elvis? Moo asked. A chicken pointed at the pile of sheep. In there, she sobbed. Moo pulled on one side of the pile. Minnie pulled on the other. It's no use, said the sheep. We're stuck. Moo stared at the pile. I see something, she said. What? asked Minnie. A heap of sheep? No, said Moo. I see the farmer's birthday present. Chapter 3 The Farmer's Present Moo grabbed her knitting needles and ran back down the hill. Moo, said Minnie, what are you doing? I'm going to knit the farmer a new wool sweater, said Moo. But what about Elvis? asked one of the chickens. When I'm finished using the wool, said Moo, the pile will fall apart. Oh, cried the chickens, and there will be our Elvis. Moo sat down and began to knit. She knitted and knitted until all the sheep were bald. There, she said, it's done. Moo held up the sweater. Moo, said Minnie, the farmer's new sweater is big. One sleeve is longer than the other and it has a lump in it. Minnie squeezed the lump. Ah, said the lump. Has anyone seen Elvis? Asked the chicken. Chapter 4. Shrink it. Minnie and Moo went into the farmer's house. Are you sure they're not here? Minnie asked. They went shopping, said Moo. Minnie tiptoed into the bedroom and hid the cream puff. When Minnie came back, Moo said, You're right. This sweater is much too big. We need to shrink it. Shrink it, said Minnie. How? Soak it, said Moo. Soak it in warm, soapy water. Moo put the sweater in the sink. She turned on the warm water. Minnie added the soap. They soaked the sweater. Then Moo started to squeeze it dry. <laughs> Sneezed the sweater. Oh! cried Moo. What was that? Minnie asked. It was the sweater, said Moo. Moo, don't be silly, said Minnie. Sweaters don't sneeze. 
Moo grabbed Minnie's arm. They do, said Moo, if they're haunted. Chapter 5 The Haunted Sweater Minnie gasped. <gasps> haunted? Haunted, said Moo. Look! The sweater began to move. It crawled across the floor. It crawled toward Minnie and Moo. <gasps> it's that lump, said Minnie. There's a ghost in there, said Moo. It's caught in the sweater. I must have snagged it with my knitting needle. The sweater pointed a sleeve at Minnie and Moo. Yo, moaned the sweater. Who? Moo asked. Moo, moaned the sweater. Moo, said Minnie. Of course we moo. We're cows. You shouted the sweater. Oh, gasped Minnie. Well, you did this to me, said the sweater. It was an accident, said Minnie. I didn't mean to, said Moo. Chapter 6, The Haunting. Suddenly, the sweater flapped its sleeves and flew into the air. Look out, cried Moo. The sweater landed on Moo. Get it off! Get it off! She yelled. It's always you two fat cows, shouted the sweater. Minnie grabbed the sweater. Don't call my best friend fat, she said. The sweater whacked Minnie on the head with a wet sleeve. You big fat blimp, said the sweater. Oh, Minnie gasped. Minnie threw down the sweater and leaped into the air. <laughs> Minnie landed on the sweater. No one calls me a blimp, she said. I'm on a diet. Ow, said the sweater. Moo heard the farmer's truck. <laughs> Minnie, get up, cried Moo. Don't bother me, said Minnie. Ghost or no ghost, I'm teaching this sweater a lesson. Minnie, get up, said Moo. The farmer's coming out the back door, cried Minnie. Chapter 7, Happy Birthday. The farmer helped his wife, Millie, carry shopping bags into the kitchen. What's that? he asked. Millie picked up the sweater. It looks like the wool sweater I ordered for your birthday, she said. One sleeve is longer than the other, said the farmer, and it has a lump in it. Millie laid the sweater on the table. Well, this is new wool, she said. It tends to lump up. I can flatten it with my rolling pin. Oh, moaned the sweater. Millie picked up a big pair of scissors. This will take care of the long sleeve, she said. Ack, shouted the sweater. It jumped off the table and ran out the door. The farmer and Millie ran after it, but the sweater was too fast. Oh dear, Millie said, and it was on sale too. Chapter 8 It's the Thought That Counts Minnie and Moo sat under the old oak tree sipping warm cocoa. They watched Moo's sweater running up the hill toward the chicken coop. There goes my present, said Moo. And you work so hard, said Minnie. That was the best sweater I ever knitted, said Moo. It's the thought that counts, Minnie said. She poured more cocoa. My cream puff can be from the two of us. Thank you, said Moo. Moo looked at Minnie. Minnie, she said. He didn't really hide that cream puff under the farmer's pillow. Did you? Don't be silly, said Minnie. I put it where he would find it. Where? Moo asked. In his slipper, said Minnie. Well, boys and girls, that brings us to the end of our book. Minnie and Moo and the Haunted Sweater by Dennis Kazette. Hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. <laughs> Terrific. Well, I have some sweaters of my own that I have to go wash now. Uh, just 
going to check them for any lumps before I put them in the machine. So let me get going here. Until next time, this is Mr. C saying don't forget to pick up a book, any book, because there's magic in books. So until next time, this is Mr. C saying bye-bye. <laughs>